Hi, it's Tom here from FDS, and today my little package arrived from the guys at Nobicon. So I thought I'd open it for you just quickly. And uh, this was a little bit of a uh, trade that I did with Mike. If you've seen his uh, Raven, you'll know what I traded him. So I made a, a Raven for Nurm. Yeah. They promised me a little return package, so I gotta get it open. As you can see, it's kind of securely packed. I'm gonna work out how to get in. So I got a little mini parcel there. And let's see what's in the mini parcel. I think. Oh, nice. So there you can see there's an out of darts hammer shot seven, seven shot cylinder, which I've got to say is really nicely made. And you can see that that comes with the pivot and it comes with the new ratchet part. And that will be going into my hammer shot for some uh, testing. Mm -hmm. There we go, there's a big ass blue Zeus. Damn, that's huge. Ah, looky here. Tubing. Lots of tubing. Man, there's a lot of packaging in here. I'm just getting through the bottom of the box to make sure I didn't miss anything. This tubing I gotta be careful with. This is the tubing, hopefully for a hurricane conversion. And that leads me to open up the box, so I can see that customs haven't been in here, which is good news. And they didn't go and have a dig around in all my stuff, because obviously it's completely okay to ship these to Europe, and they are sold here. For those of you who are in Europe and are saying, oh, I can't get rivals in my country. And they're sold in the UK by a number of retailers now, and uh, it's okay to import them from the States too, they're not a restricted item. So I can get open the uh, big tray in here. Now he said he puts quite a lot of packaging in here and he said that it was mostly HIR rounds. So I'm being a little careful because I don't want to completely cover the floor in HIRs. Damn, that's big. Right. Oh, there's some more in there. So I'm guessing I'm going to have enough balls. Ho, ho, ho. Man, those things like to go everywhere, don't they? Yeah, and that's covered on the floor. Right, so I've got... What have we got in the box? Let's have a look. So you can see I've got my... Uh, it's totally stock. Um, Blue Zeus with, again, stock magazine. And here are the parts uh, for the latest version of the Hurricane. And you can see that the bends are much tighter now in the corners here. And uh, again, there's a, just a little tiny, tiny odd bit here and there of uh, print moulding inside them. But they're a very clean print and that's a really tight curve to create. So I'm going to take my hat off to Out of Darts. That's, that's pretty slick. And uh, these are the uh, compact versions to allow the, allow the snaking cable to fit down. And then I've got my squirrel cage blower motor here to power the whole thing. And obviously that's gonna sit up on top um, in part of the battery compartment in the back. Um, and that will give me my, uh, my blower. So hopefully I've got plenty of balls. And then obviously here is the little trap door. Now this is a very cool looking little part which is held with a magnetic catch. Now that is really neat, I like that a lot. So there's a little, and there's the door, which obviously you can just leave open if you want to uh, load as you go. And there's a little ramp inside there look, to help the ball just get pushed down, and the blower fits into the back of that. So that's where the air supply goes in and blows over the top. So that's a very neat piece of kit, and I've got to say that's extremely nicely designed, but I wouldn't expect any less from out of darts, he's kind of good at that. And uh, obviously I've got another spare mag in here, so I've got two magazines, two rival mags, a lot of load of balls, and I've got my Zeus. So thank you very much uh, to the guys at Nobicon and to Mike for that, that's really appreciated. And uh, I'm going to hopefully get this all built uh, in the next couple of weeks. Obviously there'll be a few tweaks to this blaster, it's likely to get a uh, full Hurricane conversion, 
and a lipo and uh, I'm going to be taking it to a game in Bristol hopefully at the end of the month.